The mission of the Feinstein Institute is to produce knowledge that will cure disease. And that requires providing for the next generations of young people to come into that space ready to go and ready to lead it. We actively support the education of summer students. This is an experience that's very different from a traditional academic environment. When I learned about the Feinstein Institute, I was really excited. It seemed like a great opportunity. It's been great to come here and learn from people like Dr. Tracy, who are leaders in the field. I grew up on Long Island hearing about the great work that's being done here and definitely wanted to become a part of this community. The Feinstein Institute is really good at showing how research can be applied to treating diseases. The work that I do here is very different than what I do at Notre Dame. It's been exciting to expand those horizons and really get to apply what I'm learning. The students are able to participate in their own research projects in which they have hands-on exposure. They have so much more access to like clinical samples and that's not something that I had the opportunity to work with before. The Feinstein Institute has given me the opportunity to build something I can use for my research. We see it as a part of our mission in terms of growing research. You need to prepare the next generation of scientists to come in after you and to pick up where you left things off. It's a very good direction for the Institute because in the 21st century we're going to need students that are capable of understanding molecular mechanisms as well as you know, how cables work, how electricity works. The proper mentor can have a huge impact on the development of a scientist and I believe it is my duty to introduce young scientists to what research is, how is it done, and hopefully spark some interest and lead them to this scientific endeavor. My supervisor has been really easy to communicate with. I basically brought him in to work on a device. He actually has his first set of data showing that the sensor works, and so that's very exciting. We actually got the real LEDs, then I switched it up. And then is this the sensor that goes with the violet LED, or is that just the yeah, So actually, one? the 405 one okay. I think is really cool. You have both purposes, so like, you know, yeah. singlet, dual, those are theta rhythm. Why would the cells have a different morphology than we would expect? The trickiest thing about the B cells is you have such a small cytoplasm. Not only have I learned more about the research mindset and scientific techniques, but I've also learned a great deal of professionalism and collaboration just from the environment here at Feinstein. Most importantly, I've learned when working with something you've never done before, it's truly important to persevere and work through the struggle. I have taken a step forward in my scientific career. Being a mentor is a really rewarding experience. It's great to be able to share your enthusiasm and passion for the work that you're doing with a student. It actually helps us as well because all, all of a sudden we have a fresh pair of eyes working uh, with us and having these young minds really uh, asking all these very interesting questions. Anytime you interact with a new person, you get the insight that they have from their own experiences. I personally see it as giving back what I've learned. It keeps me motivated. There's nothing but excellence when it comes to summer students. All of the clinical and research leaders at Northwell and at Feinstein were given an opportunity by somebody when we were young. And now is the time to open our laboratories and our clinical space to young people to experience this in a way that they can be inspired to join and lead in the future.